Hello, I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. I have to apologize for two weeks, almost solid rainy days. Uh, Fourth of July took up one of the good ones. Anyway, this is the ceiling fan motor that we're working on, and we have four wires coming out of it. We have a red one, we have a white one, we have a brown one, and we have a blue one. Okay, I decided to go ahead and bring over one more. This one wouldn't even turn. It had some mud up in it. Anyway, how we're going to figure out these wires. Okay, we got a gray one here. We got a purple one, a yellow one, and a red one, an orange one, and a brown one. And you notice this one has a much higher profile on the side. This is the kind that I was using that wide steel banding on. On ours, it's only going to be that wide. Or you can go another method. We have a steel, uh, steel ring, but it has a little bit of work. It's a different kind of work, but this is actually pretty easy. The one I showed showing in the shop on, I think it was part six, where I was bending that fat one. That thing was hard to bend. But this thin stuff here, it rolls around real easy, goes on fast. And you'll enjoy that. I have to apologize for two weeks of almost solid rain, uh, other than uh, the 4th of July and one other day. But the uh, 4th of July got taken up. Here's our regular ceiling fan motor that we're working on in the class. This has four wires. I have a brown, a red, a blue, and a white one. Over here. This is the one that's got the center taps like I showed you in the, in the theory part. This is violet, yellow, red, orange, gray, and brown. There's still only two coils in that one. We'll open it up a little later, but for now we're working with this one, which is going to go ahead and go on. Okay, so we have two sets of coils. One on the outside, one on the inside. Each one of these wires goes to one of those sets of coils. This is your own meter. This is common. This is always your black lead. This plugs here. This says ohms here. I'd have to put this over in the ohms selection. It's got a little ohm symbol there. The voltage and amperage. Amperage you put it in series. And voltage is, and it's parallel. Ohms, you're making this part of the series circuit. That's back in there. We're going to select this over to uh, about the 200 ohm scale. Down here is for de testing diodes. It's still ohms, and it works the same way. Some meters beep, some don't. Now if I grab these leads here, my finger's wet maybe, hmm. Put them together, they should read zero. Pretty close there, okay. Now I can touch one of these with my hand, but I can't touch the other one with my hand when I'm testing it. Now I've got nothing there. That means this doesn't go to the same coil as this one. I've got nothing there. That one doesn't go to. I uh, should have something here. There we are. Well, here's the connect. There we are. We have 56 ohms. Okay. That means these other two wires go to the other coil. We have 65 ohms. So this brown and this white one belong together. We're going to go ahead and give those a little twist just so we know. Just double checking, 56.7 ohms. We're going to use these readings later on. Okay, this is now ready. We'll come over here. Now the thing is, we got the, we're going to, show, like we showed in the other uh, video, we have magnets heading towards this and behind it you have to have a plate. Well, you can either use some cut up pipe like this and slice it down and get it to fit and hammer it and get it to slam in so it'll snap in. Another guy was doing them, he was using a different pipe that actually went in. Okay, so the next thing we need is we need to get our magnets over here, but that's a lot of gap for magnets. Plus it's better to have more steel behind them. For this, we usually use steel banding, strapping steel. Anyway, you notice on the ends of these, I have this curled. I have this, this end curled as well. Curl it pretty close to this curl here, nice and smoothly, no sharp bends. And the same thing here, 
So when this pushes in, it'll go in. Other than that, you'll have a part that wants to run straight or comes like comes like this across here and on the inside. So anyway, we want to coil this up. You can put more steel banding in or less steel banding in, uh, depending on how much uh, steel banding you want and how many uh, magnets you want to use. You do want to wear some safety goggles. Alright, we're getting pretty close. That's why you want to wear safety goggles. Pull it out and then just roll it up a few times. Now I've got it smaller than the inside. I'll set it there and I'll let it set out. Make sure it's down nice and flat. This end on the inside, it's going this way. We want to push it that way. <coughs> now here's the time to sit there and figure out which way your rotor is going to spin. This one's going to be on the back side. And it's going to go clockwise. So I want this this way. The other way, not too good. Anyway. We've cleaned all this up with acetone, and now that it's in here, I can just drop super glue down inside here, or on the inside down at the bottom, right down here, we're going to put a little epoxy and get this ring to stay in. On this one, we don't have to worry about the bolt hole, because the bolt holes are on the outside. On these other ones, the bolts are right in your way, so you can only come out so far. That's an advantage to this one. All right, so we get the super glue ready. Got it. Okay, well we're going to start on the outside here. Put a little drop down the edge. Keep this nice and still. This is going to keep it all from moving. First I'm going to let that dry for a second. The next thing I want to do Basically, that's going to be stuck there pretty good right now. There's the inside piece. I'm going to start pushing this way on the inside. And I'm going to work my hand around the outside, squeeze all the little gaps out that I can. I want to smack that mosquito. There we go. Let's soak it up. Should have brought my electronic bug zapper. There we go. It will drink it up. Seems to be taking quite a bit. Very good. Very good. Very good. You got a crack that doesn't doesn't seem to be accepting it, it's going inside it. Let it go. Fill it all up there. It's nice and shiny on top. There's some stuff that drank all of that. Let it drink it. Now inside here it's not getting much air, so you're going to let this dry a while before you start putting magnets on it. This outside edge is important. Then we want to get the inside all the way around. Put it on liberally. Uh, you got plenty of super glue to play with. Now I can feel the heat coming off this thing here right now. And I think that ended that too. Anyway, we'll hit that again with a little bit of epoxy when it all dries. This will be nice. I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind, another home energy.